Chuck! Uh, Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Ah, sounds real. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha, <laughs> he's dead to the world. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't see that well. For all I know, you could be some really short 30-year-old guy trying to take advantage of my disability. In which case, shame on you. You should know better. And if you really are kids, then I have to tell you, I don't like kids. Don't like talking to them. Don't like listening to them. Don't like to smell them. You come in here, make fun of me, sneeze on the food, spill stuff on the floor, and leave without buying anything. I'd rather have rats. I've got good news for you then. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. 
Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight? No. Then no fries. I once had that they put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Gross. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Huh. Gross. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Couple scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. In France, they call a skirt. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Anchor? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. 
shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made porn at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one. Hey, cheater. You have to wait until I say go. I wonder where this path goes. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Hey, hands off! I want to say two scurvy dogs at the same time. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, you have no regard for personal property. Gotta run. How rude. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? Want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Do not pick the 
four-leaf clovers. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish D would disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch. Hey. <laughs> I wonder where this path goes. At home, I've got a collection of old spermy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? <laughs> I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch.
feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Streepwood. Remember me? Of course. We lookouts have a lot of discretionary thinking time. I use mine to revisit my memories of every Ann, Jack, and Guybrush who spent five seconds with me a decade ago on their way to someplace else. Um, wow. Relax, I'm just winding your anchor chain. Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head down there. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Yo I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. It looks like someone just left it here unattended. Looks like a circus act, maybe. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. 
We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's, like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. A percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. The pen is mightier than the sword. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Clever. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. 
have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Maybe Slobby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters, Tuesdays 3 to 4. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? 
Oh, trust me, that is the easy way. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. They're having a half-off sale. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. been impressed by your chair. Thank you. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. Your gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Too bad it's empty. Keep up the good work, buddy. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress.
Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Not for me. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very... Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals. The power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it, and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scumba. Can you 
use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. Oh yeah, that clock has been broken for decades now. Hey, Wally. Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Well, I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. 
They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. Hey, Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. This one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. Huh, never seen one of those before. Huh, never seen one of those before. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. The first rule of piracy is never buy a used treasure map. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. Ooh, looks chilly up there. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Hey, Wally. Nice weather. Yep. makes things look bigger. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Nothing says I'm sorry like a dried up old frog. No worries. I've moved beyond you blinding, burning, blowing up and marooning me all those years ago. Good to know. Anything at the moment? I don't think so. Well, if it isn't Frank, Fred, and Finn, how are you? What you be talking about, boy? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. In a good way, I promise. Aren't you that Guybrush Threepwood? What wants to be a pirate? And you're the pirate leaders. I was looking for you. Aye, well, we're not the pirate leaders no more. Former pirate leaders is what we are. Yeah, I already met the chilling trio who took your place. And your table. Escaped with your life, I see. What did you mean, wants to be a pirate? I've been a pirate for a long time now. You may call yourself that, but 
Remember the three trials. I remember them. I was proud to complete them. I still talk about it sometimes. Ad nauseum, Elaine says. It's Latin for something. Be that as it may, I don't recall us being presented with evidence as to the completion of all three. That were part of your instructions at the time. Oh no, really? Tis true enough. Uh, listen, can this wait a little longer? I've got a lot on my to-do list right now. I it matters not. We've all of us moved on. a journey to find the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize! That's what I tried to tell those clowns in the bar. They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk, that the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, <laughs> so to speak. We've sold our ship and sunk all of the cash into our next venture. Tell me about your next venture. What is it? Tis a fish shop on the high street where the general store used to be. A place for buying a fish and telling tales about the catching of fish. We'll be open on the morrow. Be sure to stop by. We'll give you the friend's price on the unpopular fish. You said you don't have a ship? Where do you get your fish? From reputable sources. We'll give you an additional discount if you don't talk about that where people can hear you. Is it that you're not the pirate leaders anymore? Time in democracy, boy. A lot of our supporters be dead, drunk, dead drunk, or retired. Our eyes be sharp and our judgments keen. But once she be labeled old school, that's all that gets seen. The traditions of the three trials have become a joking matter in some quarters. Dark times. Aye, they even water the grog and mix it with fruit these days. Won't even strip the varnish off a deck. Why'd you pick this corner instead of one closer to your fish shop? Uh, the woman that lives above the shop location is doing a bit of haranguing today. We'll stay clear of her. Thanks very much.
see you around. Seems likely. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. <laughs> <laughs>